corrupt cops often think they're untouchable, but when they push their power too far, it's only a matter of time before they get put in their place. Today, we're looking at moments where bad cops were instantly humbled by higher authority, losing their grip on power and facing real consequences. Thirty-five, two fifty-six. If it's possible, could you make my location? PD two fifty-six. Put me at the thousand forty-nine of Gardenia. So this is that female Trevino. She flicks me off as I'm going back to back of my patrol car. Fails the single left hand to go into the left lane. She flicks me off. So I just wanted a second to make contact with her. How's it going? Officer Eggers, New Braunfels Police Department. Who you are. Okay. I know who you are. That's fine. Well, the reason why you're being. over for flipping you off. No, ma'am. The reason That's why. You are. you are retaliating against me. You turned your sirens on and everything, ran over here like a crazy person. Okay. Well, ma'am, the reason why you're being contacted is you failed to signal lane change when you flicked me off. Okay. Okay. So go ahead and step out of the car. As you clearly saw, the lady later identified as Brittany Trevino did signal before the lane change, and it was obvious this stop was retaliatory, as the officer couldn't handle freedom of speech. Step out of the car. I have three officers here. He's hurt me before. Please don't let him. Yeah, could you, would you mind, Henderson, go ahead and detain her? In cuffs? No, because he's, he's, then he's legal to me. Okay, all right. You're under arrest or fail to signal lane change? I'm under arrest for failing to signal a lane change? Yes, ma'am. I'm under arrest for failing to signal a lane change? Yes, ma'am. I'm... Stay still. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You guys just know this is bullshit. You guys just know it is. You guys know it is. You're under arrest. Grab my phone. Grab my phone. Please grab me. Please grab me. As Trevino explained to the officers, she had had previous run-ins with Officer Akers, who is known as a woman of in the city. You want me to transport or you, you think better? Yeah, Danny, can do. Danny, would you mind just transporting? You don't have to do anything else other than transport. I'll be there. PD 2B6. Can you go ahead and uh, give me next rotational record? That female is my custody. Uh, I believe it's going to be Brittany Trevino. Next rotation, when in custody at 839. What's that? Yeah, she has a driver's license, but. I'm going to turn this off. No. Yeah, she has a driver's license, but. I'm going to turn this off. No. Well, she she comes down the street, comes right towards me, and as I'm walking back by the car, didn't do nothing. She picks me off, mm -hmm. and then as she does that, she gets on the lane, fails the single lane change. Mm -hmm. okay. Failure to signal a lane change was a mere excuse made by this tyrant cop, as he had arrested the poor lady just because he didn't have thicker skin. Surprisingly, none of the other officers spoke in Trevino's favor. I'll use her to copy broadcast. It's going to be the 25 minute block of 46 West. Callers are rising a red LinkedIn SUV. Female swerving and putting her makeup on. Have a license plate of Nora Sam Henry 9090.
the officers committed another crime by turning off their body cams. Thanks to Trevino's camera on the top of the car, which recorded everything these pigs discussed. However, the sergeant arrived on the scene and quickly released Trevino from cuffs, ending this illegal detainment. What? Help? Okay. What? That's good. It is. All right, Brittany. L. Well, yours is pretty thin, right? And they're like, you can stab right through it. And I'm like, what do you mean you can stab through it? You guys want me to wear this for bullets? Are you kidding me? What do you mean you can stab through it? I mean, I've never tried. They did tell me, though, that you can stab right through it. Officer Akers started to hide as the sergeant was much more lenient to Trevino. It was time he also said something to the corrupt officer and scolded him, but he had a very timid reaction to that. Okay. So, um, you're good to go. So I understand that you flicked the officer off. That's not, so my question was, did you flick the officer off? Yeah. Okay. So, so here's the thing, regardless of what your history is with Officer Akers, your your intense hate caused you to flick him off and then you committed a traffic violation. Okay? And you just gone on about your day and not worried about flicking people off or anything like that. None of this would have happened. I know that. Oh yeah. No, I didn't. Let me get your signature. That's not pleading guilty, that just promises to take care of that ticket, okay? None of it ever is good on those automated ones, okay? So, here's the thing, right? Had, had you just gone on about your day, right? So, you're... Your intense hatred is causing you to do other things that is that is drawing attention to you. I you need to move on with your life and move along. Okay. Sergeant Scott sided with his fellow, which is why these corrupt tyrants never improve and only worsen. Instead of lecturing Trevino, he should teach his officers the Constitution. That's 100% that, true. Is that true. It is. So, you need to move on and not be running around flipping people off, right? I get it. That's your First Amendment if you want to flip people off, but what it did is it caused you to create a, to create a hazard to a traffic infraction right in front of an officer, right? So, uh, with your citation, we're all complete, so you're good to go whenever you want. No, that's not what anybody's saying, right? You flicking people off I know. has caused you to do a traffic infraction right in front of an officer and caused you to get a ticket. You can, you can choose to be defined by the, your past, or you can decide what you want to do, right? That's it. But 
if you choose to be defined by what happened to you in the past, then you will always continue to be that person. Right? Do you understand what I'm saying? That's... Regardless of what y'all's history is, you need to move along with it. Right? While the sergeant may have spared Trevino a trip to the police station and an unnecessary charge, we certainly expected more justice from him. This officer was immediately corrected, but this next tyrant took things up a notch and was later owned. Yes, you're being detained. I'm being detained. This is an illegal attainment. Yes, I'm starting the clock. Detained. Illegal detainment. I'm starting the clock. Yes, sir. You're going to get a complaint, sir. <sighs> Add to the list. You're gonna get a complaint. Add to the list, huh? I'm sure. I'm sure you've had. A, I'm sure you've had a lot. First Amendment auditor Sean Paul Reyes went to the U.S. Air Force Base in West Hampton, New York, and was just taking some pictures of the public area when a police officer approached him. That's Air Force Base Francis S. Gabreski. Hey, sir, how you doing? Yeah. Just to make sure everything's gonna go cool. That's it. I just want to picture the helicopter. To get a picture of the helicopter. That's it. That's it. Okay. I don't want to give it. I'm just here for the picture of the helicopter. That's it. No, no, I did not. No, no, sir, I'm not. Yes, sir. Yes. No, I didn't. I didn't want to. I didn't want to do it without without uh, talking to you guys first. The officials in the building clearly did not understand public photography laws, so they called a Suffolk County Sheriff's deputy, who was much more friendly and open to conversation. Nothing much. No, 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 no. Um, I was just over there, uh, saw the uh, helicopter, oh, and, and I wanted to take a picture of the helicopter, and I went up to the guard booth first to ask them if I could take a picture of it. Gotcha, got you. They said they said no photos or videos yeah, allowed. It's, it's, it's I see the I see the signs, but yeah. I'm on public property. Yeah, no, you and this is trying to go in and out just because it's the air no, But I understand that. But yeah, what, what I'm saying is I'm on public property, right? Yes, you are. I so I was trying to be courteous by asking yeah. them because I don't want to get I saw Fair the enough. signs, no photos. Fair enough. But it's not a law, right? Well, if you were to go inside past that gate. If I were to go past, yeah, I would yeah. never do that. You're on public property right now. Never do that. You are. You're on so I can grab a picture of that? Of what? You want to take a picture of, of the of, of the, the helicopter? Of the helicopter, yeah. The helicopter, technically a helicopter, you can take a picture of. Okay, so I'm going to go take All a picture right, of the helicopter. Inside, so I promise if they, you. If they tell you to stay behind some sort of perimeter. No, I, I like promise that? you I'll take no, it from I'll public. What, I'll come with you. That way, I'll let you know because we're on county property right now. Yeah, exactly. It's my jurisdiction. Exactly. So I'll let you know if it's good enough. Okay, cool. Over here, this is federal. No, property. no, no. I don't want to go in there. That's why I went over there and asked them before I did it. Okay. I didn't want them All to right. think that I was doing something yeah, crazy. Yeah, you know what it is? It has to do with uh, like security clearance. Stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. They, you know, think about it this way. You had 9-11 terrorists uh -huh. you know, going on the, the, the Twin Towers. I get it 100%. You, that's, that's why. That's but I just... Happened. I'm just want to take a picture of the helicopter. I, th right. I thought it was pretty cool. All right, yeah, no, dude, it is. It is actually pretty. Cool. <laughs> the young deputy showed remarkable calmness, which is exactly how you expect law enforcement to behave around people. However, shortly after, another deputy arrived, and things started getting a little messy. Yeah. That's yeah. all. No, no problem. All right, so Are I'm you doing like a documentary. Or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to get a picture. I never been over here, so okay. I wanted to get. A, I got a picture of the sign. Yeah. And then I wanted to get a picture all from public. I know. You know what I mean. I, yeah, I don't no, want to. Listen, I, get, I don't want to break I the law, man. What's your name, badge number, sir? Yeah. I went to go talk to I went to go talk to the those guys in there at the gate, and I want to ask them permission because I saw no I saw no uh, photographs. They have multiple signs, no photographs or videos allowed. But that's why I wanted to ask them because I knew if I'm on a public easement and I can see inside and see the helicopter, I could take a picture of it, right? That I don't know. Well, um, I, I do know. Obviously, you see signs everywhere that say no video taking photography. Yeah. It is a military installation, so there's a reason why they have those signs there. Yeah, but the, the, ID on you the no, I don't. The First Amendment, the First Amendment allows me to take pictures and video yeah. from a public place. I don't want to. I don't want to go past their barrier at all. Yeah. I'm staying on public, and I want to take pictures. That's it. It's a. It's a First Amendment protected activity. I understand. Okay, that's it. That's all. That's you all I want no to do. You want you to no, do that. no. Can you give me a name then? I, I prefer not. I don't want to be in any You're report. You're not going to give me a name. You're not going to give me ID. I prefer not to be in any reports. I'm not doing anything illegal. 
deputies appear confused at this time, whereas the law is as simple as it can get. Suddenly, another senior deputy arrived on scene and straight away escalated the situation. So can I just go grab my picture then and be out of here? Uh, just hang tight. We're just going to get our supervisor here just to verify everything. And Am again, I you don't want to give us your, uh, your ID. So no, no, no. You know, no, I don't. Again, just no, I get it. I mean, no, I understand. I just, I just feel, I just, I'm telling you face to face, man to man, that I have no ill harm. That's all. You guys, the sheriff, you guys, the sheriffs, County Patrol, sheriff. County over here. This is your guys, uh, the entire county of Suffolk is our jurisdiction, just like Suffolk PD. That's good to know. That's cool. Hey, what's up? How you doing, sir? The, uh, what's, your hey. what's your name and badge number? What's your name and badge number, sir? And he came, for what he's saying, he was coming closer to I didn't take a picture of the chopper yet, but I'm going to. Go and take pictures of something and they have to make sure. Hey, sir, what's your name and badge number? You're being very unprofessional, sir. Very unprofessional. Sir, thank you for your service. The deputy had no respect for the auditor and continued to show arrogance. Not only this, but he did something even worse. Stop! Stay away from here. Stay over there. Is that a lawful? Is that a? Stay towards us. Stay over there. Is that a lawful order, sir? Uh, yes, it's a lawful order. Until we complete our investigation, you are to listen to what we're doing. What? What? What crime am I being suspected of committing, sir? Sir. What crime am I being suspected of committing? I can't talk over you. I will answer your questions. I'm asking you a question. Am I being detained? You're still talking over me. Am I being detained? Can you stop talking? I'm asking you a question, sir. Am I being detained? So I guess that's a no. Yes, you're being detained. I'm being detained. This is an illegal detainment. I'm starting the clock. Illegal detainment. I'm starting the clock. And identify himself. What was your name again? Deputy Halfester. You're not being detained for the record. You're just being interviewed right now. He because just, there was a 911 who, can, can you tell me if he's a supervisor? Uh, well, that, we're talking to me right now. It doesn't matter if he's a supervisor or not. Well, we're getting the supervisor. Um, you, we were called with a 911 call because all this, I understand this that. is all we got. So what, so what part? Okay. There was a suspicious person. That's all we got. A suspicious person in front of the uh, the Breast Guard before there, Okay. The, the military installation. So it's, because of what I just told you before, uh -huh. what happened at the Capitol building, yeah. the federal, I can understand that. Or not in the word, I can understand that because this is county jurisdiction. And now wait, so we're just trying to figure out what's going on. No, That's no, it. I understand that. That's it. Despite being a junior, the earlier deputy showed remarkable resilience and opposed his tyrant fellow. This shows how good officers also exist in the force, but tyrants like these often shadow them. You're, 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 you're very, you're, you're, no very you? you're very unprofessional. Do you have sir. any identification on you? What is your name, sir? Do you have an identification on I'm you? I'm asking for your name, sir. I cannot talk to you until you provide the identification to me. You told you me say? I was detained. Am I detained? You do not have that case. He told me I wasn't detained. to be ID'd. No, that's not true. ID, so. Don't, you're going to ruin your career for nothing. For nothing. Really. Listen, for, I'm it's a first. All day long. Let me, matter. listen. Let, let, listen. What are you, what are you just doing Just listen, here? just listen to me. Okay, doing? I'm going to explain it to you. Ready? What are you doing here? I'm doing a what first doing amendment. Here? These men right here, they swore, they swore an oath to the constitution, to the first amendment. I'm doing a First Amendment, Amendment protected activity, Amendment. and you swear that same Wait, oath. So am I. Exactly. You have a legal obligation to answer, to answer no, I do not. No, I do not. Fifth Amendment, what is sir. It? It's a Don't you love stop. it? Listen. No, it's not. You could do whatever you want to do, but I mean, at the end of the no day, you're not telling us your name. I don't consent to any searches or seizures. You have. I'm, I'm doing a First Amendment protected activity, sir. I'm on public. Right. I'm on public. Listen. Property. The deputy tried to intimidate Sean, but he had no clue he was facing one of the most experienced auditors out there who wouldn't budge to unlawful commands like these. I understand that you may have a law degree that's even better. That's even great. No. Then you would I just know the law. Maybe you don't learn it. Maybe you don't learn it. Listen, we're going to arrest you if you can't produce identification because I cannot let you walk away from me. You'll be making a very big. A, a suspicious act of videotaping military what is, installation. What is the crime? And you have no legitimate reason to be here. What is. I don't need a legitimate reason to be in public places. Right you need to learn the law, right sir. Now the crime is obstructing government administration. No, it's you're going to get fired. If you cannot, if you cannot do it. Provide, you're going to get fired, sir. It doesn't matter. Well, it doesn't matter? It has to do with you giving me a demonstration. Okay. Your obligation, your no. obligation is to be Your obligation is to uphold the Constitution, okay, sir. 
So you told me I wasn't detained, sir, because I want to get out of here. You're being stopped. You're not detained right now. So I can walk away. No, not right now. We got a question. But that means I'm, if I'm not free to go, that means I'm being detained. You can't. I don't know if you are thinking about it. You can't detain. You can't detain a citizen. You can't detain a citizen. You're, you're detaining. We're, we're at a level two level and a DeBoer level right now. We're, I'm be, I, where if I'm not ask, free to go, I'm I detained. Can ask for your information. I'm detained. Okay. You can ask me whatever you want, but I don't want to be detained. I, said, I was trying to be very suspect, Wait, respectful, man. Really. Sean was illegally detained while the deputies carried out their investigation. Realizing he was stuck between dumb cops, he asked for a supervisor, something he should have done quite a while ago. I, under I understand that you have a complainant, but that doesn't mean anything. What's suspicious? Suspicious isn't a crime. I, c I could say, I could look, I could look at you and call the police and say, hey, this guy's suspicious. Sure. What does that mean? Come out what does that mean? So are you a supervisor? No, I'm not. Okay, so you explain to me why I'm being detained. I'm ask you one question. Are you done with your helicopter videotaping? I want to go take a picture of the helicopter right now. I didn't take it yet. I asked. I asked first. Even though I don't need to, I asked first. And I want his name and badge number before I leave here. Okay, well that's, I don't know his badge number. So is the Suffolk you County... Can, all right, I want to get a supervisor to speak to then. Would you like to ask me? I would like to speak to a Suffolk County Sheriff Supervisor, please. Thank you. Yeah, I'm ready for this. Good stuff to be done with, man. I don't even like when I'm easy. Restriction freezing. Very unprofessional. It's bizarre how these deputies wasted taxpayers' dollars and their important time on an issue like this. Sean had committed no crime and was only exercising his constitutional rights to take a photo of a public place. It's cops like these that shouldn't have guns or badges. Cops like him. Illegally detaining me. This guy has been very, uh, very cordial and respectful. I mean, the only thing I can say about him is that thin blue line, right? You're gonna get a complaint, sir. <sighs> Well, add to the list. You're gonna get a complaint. Add to the list, huh? I'm sure. You, I'm sure you've had. A, I'm sure you've had a lot. Supervisor responding. Oh, he's got, he's in he's in route. Okay. Hey, hey, listen. Can I ask you a question? What's your name and badge number? Sure. My badge number is uh, four nine nine. Four nine nine. And your name and your name? My name is uh, Deputy McCrave. Deputy McCrave. Yeah. Thank you. Four nine nine. Hey, Deputy McCrave. Uh, let me ask you a question. Yeah. This officer, this uh, deputy, said I was being detained. And then this deputy said I wasn't free to leave. So you be free to leave. In just a so I was being you, you detained, have, right? Actually, I was going to come out to talk to you to see if you were done yeah. with this stuff, and just see if you. What's your name? Just to tell you, you don't even have a badge on, do you? I'm the captain. We come loose. Three three nine. My shield number K O R T E is my last name. You are free to go, sir. If you want to wait for a supervisor, that's on you. Okay, okay. great. Okay. This deputy had surely never been held accountable for his actions, as he had no fear whatsoever. From the beginning to the end, he remained hostile and was on a crazy power trip. Now free to go, Sean decided to wait for a supervisor. This dude's a clown. Is a supervisor in route? The supervisor is in route. Are you still waiting to see the supervisor? Yeah, if he's if I want to speak to him. I want to speak to him, yeah. Okay, I want to speak to him. Walking away, so no, no, no. I was, I was getting video him. of this guy. I, was I want to make sure I know. The supervisor, if you were. No, no, no. I want to speak to a supervisor. Yeah, yeah, that's what I told him. I go and I watch. Hey. I offer to watch him while he's in Learn the law. Learn the law. All right, thanks. Hey, how you doing, sir? Yeah, what's going on? Are you supervisor? I am, yes, sir. What's your name and badge number? Sergeant Tedesco, S104. How can I help you? I just wanted to talk to you because uh, I was out here on a public easement. Yes, sir. Filming. Okay. Um, doing a First Amendment protected activity. Okay. And uh, this officer came up to me and he was very cordial with me and, you know, he understood my rights and everything was okay. The only thing I didn't like is that he backed up the other guy who was, his name was Court. 
I don't know. He said okay. he, he, he spelled his name out to me. Okay. That they both said he didn't say anything. But the, the, these two guys, they said I'm free to leave. I mean, I'm not free to leave. Okay. And I would like to make a complaint. Okay. Well, at that moment, right then and there, mm -hmm. they were responding to a 911 call. All right. And so they were in the middle of an investigation. Okay. But in order in order to detain somebody, so you have to have reasonable, articulable suspicion that a crime has been committed, well, is being they, committed, they, exactly, or is going exactly. to be committed. Exactly. However, they were in the middle of an investigation. That's what yeah. they were trying but to figure out. They that can't moment. detain. They can't detain free citizens so in that's, investigation. That's, 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 that they would. They were bothered doing an investigation. Absolutely. So, 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 Sergeant, you're saying you're saying while they're doing an investigation, I just want to make this clear: while they're doing an investigation, they can detain a non-law-breaking citizen. Well, they didn't know on if, a public place. At that point, they didn't know if you were breaking that's the law. That's not how the law not works, breaking sir. The law. Yeah, okay, but that's not how the law like works. I want to file a complaint. Well, I'll take care of that. The supervisor was just like his colleague, completely ignorant of the law and extremely rude. Sean soon realized that he wouldn't be getting any fair treatment here, but he still insisted on filing a complaint. Okay, so you don't want to give any identifying no. information no, to us right now? No, okay, sir. so what else can I do for you today? Take the complaint down. Do you, do you do the complaint, sir? You're a supervisor, right? I will right? write up a complaint, yes, but I have okay. nothing to go by. I don't know who you are. I don't know. I don't have any way to reach you. Uh, no, no, for anybody no. I'll, to I'll, give you, I'll, give you my, I'll give you my phone number. I have video to corroborate it if you'd like to see it. I, I don't really need that. I'm going off your word. Oh, yeah. If you'd like to make a complaint, I'll take that complaint. No, but what I'm saying is that I can show you video where I was being illegally detained, sir. Sir, I don't know what you're trying to accomplish right now. If you'd like to give us information, I will write your information down. I will, I will give you. Formal, I, will I will give submit, you my phone number. I will submit a formal complaint. Yeah. and we can go from there. I'll give you my phone number. You can reach me okay, there. And follow up on me. No, it's it's it's. I want to I want to make sure that I'm putting in an. I was illegally detained by Officer. Do you know his name, sir? Cordy. K O R T E. I believe. Officer Cordy. And you don't want to provide any name or. No, sir. I'll just provide a phone number so I can. I'll reach out to you guys. You guys, where's, where, where, how do I get a hold of you guys? I will give you the phone number for internal affairs. So, sure. one minute. It's guys like that that don't deserve badges. Taking uh, time bombs. That's your. That's your opinion. He told me himself. I, he'll add the complaint. He'll add the complaint to his list. He told me himself. What an idiot. Even after all this, Sean wouldn't even get a complaint for him. Accountability in America seems far, especially concerning these highly paid law enforcement officers. Yeah, is a sergeant. Yeah, who's taking who's taking my complaint? That's what I want to know. Uh, I'm gonna follow up with internal affairs. Did he give you the number? Yeah, give me the number. Okay, that's you. But that's it. You so said you would reach out. Does he know? Well, we don't have any information from you, so basically it's up to you to reach out to them. Um, if you'd like, that's about it. There's no, there's no complaint form or anything like that. Complaint form? Uh, yeah, complaint form. I don't have a complaint form. Did you ask the supervisor about? I'll that? ask. I'll ask him. I'll ask him. No problem. Hey, sir, you got a com so, Is there anything else I can help you with today? Yeah, do you have a complaint form? Like, a, do, you, do you I do guys not have, have a form? complaint form on me right now. No. You don't. Okay, so do you know where, where what sheriff's office would I go to to get a sheriff's Okay, uh, so I gave you a phone form. number already. Yeah, no, so I want the form. So you're more than welcome to call that number and follow up with them. Okay? okay, they're the ones that handle the complaints for the sheriff's And one more time, your, okay. your deputy's name was who? What was his name? Cordy. Cordy. Deputy Cordy. Deputy Cordy. Okay. Thank you so much. Is there anything else I can help you with? No, sir. All right. Have a safe day. You too. Moving on, this rookie officer made a huge mistake and was owned by his sergeant. Well, yeah, like I said, they didn't see anyone go up and down the stairwell. So you went to Walmart, your car didn't work, so you didn't buy nothing, yeah. came back home. Yeah, because you, you had to move came in, to you wound up using your electric razor. Yeah, which I mean, everything's still over there. Uh, okay. But I used that. Got everything done, was gonna go back 81, and mm -hmm. that's when I realized my body cam was still on, on the sink. Mm -hmm. I was gonna come back down to get it, and the door was just wide open. How old are you, Ski? 21. 21. You know how long I've been doing this? Many years, sir. 23. So I'm, I'm pretty good about reading situations. 
You know what I mean? His senior sent Matthew back home earlier to shave in accordance with the departmental's policies. He used his electric razor and left the house, but accidentally left his keys and body camera inside. In a panic, he kicked open his door to get back in. To cover up his mistake, he falsely reported a break into the police. So I want you to know that first of all, you know, I can help you out if there's something else going on here, okay? But I need you as an officer to be 100% honest with me right now. Yes, sir. 100%. Yes, sir. Now, it's my understanding you were, and when you called your mom, which you say was, you were sitting right here. Yes, was sir. at 642. At 642, you were in Walmart. No, sir. This will load. I'll have my chemicals right here. Dispatch right there. 621, I was at Walmart. Mm -hmm. 642 was when I got back here. 646 ish was when I called dispatch. The timeline of events and his narrative didn't make sense to the veteran detective, who was assured that the young deputy was lying. Moreover, he had also received CCTV footage of Walmart, which showed Matthew leaving the store with a bag in hand. This is you leaving Walmart? Yes, sir. With a bag in your hand? Yes. I bought a candy, but that's it. You bought candy with your card? With uh, the tap. But you didn't use that to buy your razor? No, sir. No? How come? No, I mean, I realized that I had my electric shaver here, so I didn't really see the need to actually buy that, spend okay. more money. Okay. So, listen, Ski, this is, this is the time, okay? This is a very important juncture in your life. Yes, sir. Okay? Where I want you to be 100% straight with me. If you messed up, and you kicked your door because maybe you forgot your key, maybe because you were pissed off. Stuff happens. If I was in a bind and I had to kick my door, I'd kick my door, okay? That's when we gotta help each other out. If you make a mistake, you made a mistake. But this one, I need you to be straight with me 100%. You don't wanna start your career with a blemish, okay? So, there, there's other things that I haven't told you yet that lead me to believe you're not being 100% straight up with me, okay? So I want you right now, put everything aside, all your emotions, any fear you might have, be 100% honest with me, bud. The detective presented more compelling evidence and pressed Officer Matthew to come clean. Surprisingly, the dejected rookie officer admitted his mistake, acknowledging the false report. I looked at the boot patterns. What do you think I saw there? Okay, it's okay, it's not the end of the world, man, but you, I need you to be straight with me, okay? Why did, why did you kick it? Were you locked out? Yeah. Yeah, okay, that's all right. But here's the thing, man, when you, when you do something like that, especially in this career, you call your buddy, Munoz. Hey dude, I, I got locked out, I had to kick my freaking door, probably gonna be in trouble. So I'm assuming maybe you thought, what, that you were gonna have to pay for the door because you kicked it or what? I knew that. Uh, yeah. So why did you kick it? I did get locked. You got locked out? And couldn't find your key or it was in here? Uh, it was, all that was in here. It was in here, okay. All right. Well, listen, what we need to do right now is I need you to, uh, to take off your gear, okay? So, you can just put that down. You can just put your, put your phone down or whatever. But uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna take this from you, okay? Is this uh, triple? Is it a thumb release? Let's go ahead and take, take all your gear off, okay? It 
It's arguably one of the dumbest ways a police officer may have ruined his career. However, an officer like Matthew had no place in the force, and the senior detective asked him to turn in his police belonging. This entire fiasco was completely unnecessary. Matthew risked his career over saving a few bucks to repair a door, which was bizarre. The detective didn't let this small mistake slide for a reason. If he was lying about this, imagine what he could be lying about in an arrest. Now keep in mind that this doesn't have to be the end of law enforcement for you, okay? This is a misdemeanor. It's not a big deal in the grand scheme of things, okay? You might have another shot in the future, but you can't start your career out with a false report, okay? It is a crime, all right? I think maybe, uh, you know, you're 21 years old, and I'll tell you right now, I can... Despite the officer's foolishness, the detective remained calm and composed. He reminded him that this wasn't the end of the world and that at 21, everyone makes mistakes. It was a lesson in accountability and growth. You want to keep that belt or you want to just give it back to Pat? I'll keep the belt. Yeah, because he said he didn't want it anymore, so. Okay, no problem. Oh, wait, that hold it. issue stuff that you can think of? Uh, no, sir. Everything was in the box or on me. Okay. okay. I haven't made a Mr. Minter for instance. Who knows what? So, uh, we'll, have, we'll figure that out when we get over there. Okay? But like I said, I'm going to go as easy on you as I possibly can. Okay? And we'll, we'll get it figured out. Um, are they, they got somebody on the way he hasn't answered me yet. I try calling him. Six thirty-three, we Finally, the officer arrested Matthew before escorting him to the police cruiser. Although it was only a misdemeanor, but surely a moment of shame for the young officer. Do you? Uh, is there any way to secure this right now, or? Uh, that's why I was looking for the keys. For the keys? It, Did you notice that there was keys hanging on his vest? I didn't notice. I'll go check them. You can take your phone with you, bud. I'll let you use your phone while you're there. Okay. Is there a phone on this side or a wallet on this side? Your phone on this side? Phone, wallet, and nothing wallet? in the front. Nothing on this side. Okay. Did you, I saw you, you were getting your mail. Is your house key on that same keychain? Yeah. Yep. So, you didn't put it in the car, right? I don't think so. No. Where'd you set your mail down at? 
back to him the TV. What do you say? 14. That's one 14. Matthew was charged with making a false report and was later removed from the Ruidoso Police Department. This deputy realized he should not be messing with his superior, and this dumb cop faced the same result. All I'm doing is asking for a form of identification so we can identify who he is. He's refusing. Not a problem. Not a problem. In October 2015, a First Amendment auditor was flying a drone outside a police station, capturing footage, when a couple of police officers halted his proceedings and went over to demand his ID. So what my name will get you everything. Who are you? I don't need to provide that. Yes, you do. No, I don't. If I'm asking you who you are and why you're videotaping our facility, you have to provide me with some kind of identification. So you have to the require, To require identification under the law, you need to be able to articulate a crime that I'm about to commit or I have committed. Okay. You're going around, you're videotaping our state police facility for no apparent reason, and if I'm asking you who you are, you have to provide me with identification. I don't have to, it's no. It's just like anything else. No, it's not. Yes, you do. I don't. Yes, you do. In fact, your public information officer already has dealt with this here, and so has a few other officers, so... I don't care who's dealt with it. I'm asking you for identification because I want to know who you are right now. Well, and I want to know what your reason is for videotaping our facility. Well, first of all, Supreme Court has covered that filming out in public is perfectly legal. I don't care what And that is not a suspicion of crime. So therefore, care. you have no suspicion of crime. Listen, you can cite whatever you want. Right. Why are you videotaping? That's what I'm asking right now. I don't have to answer that. It's absurd how these officers were so unaware of the law, which made it entirely legal for the auditor to take pictures and videos of public building. Officer Fougere kept arguing with the auditor and ultimately involved his sergeant. However, he had no clue he would be the one on the receiving end of things. Well, I want to see a form of identification, identifying who you are, why you're outside my facility right now videotaping us. I don't have to provide that either. Why not? Why do you feel that like you do not have to perform any form of because identification? Because that's the law. No, it's not. If yes, you're it out is. here and I want to know why you're videotaping our facility and you have to provide me some form of identification, you just can't come and walk away anytime you want and just come up with your things and fly them over our lot. I want to know who you are and why you're videotaping this right now. You probably want to get a supervisor or somebody higher up. Sure, here's my sergeant. He's coming out right now. Well, and he'll tell you. Okay, no problem. Hey, Alain. He was flying the drone out in front, videotaping. All I'm doing is asking for a form of identification so we can identify who he is. He's refusing. Go to the first sergeant. Not a problem. Not a problem. He can videotape as much as he wants. We don't have to get any form of identification. He can videotape. Not a problem. All right. Okay. So you were wrong? Huh? You were wrong. Going with my sergeant? Sergeant, yes, I was. So you learned something today, that's good. Okay, don't worry about it, I'll put you off. Have a good day. That's precisely what you'd expect from a police sergeant, to step in and set things right. As the officer faced the truth, he didn't even look back, walking away in shame. I can hear you. Sorry for the inconvenience. Right now with the drones, there's a lot of this. I said sorry for the inconvenience. Right now with the drones, there's a lot of, uh, I guess you could say, I wouldn't say misinformation, but uh, it's an area that we're not used to dealing with. All right? Well, that's apparent. I've dealt with your troopers already yeah, on this. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure you have. It's not a problem. That's why I came out here. I saw that he was talking to you, so. The, um, you probably should educate them a little bit more on it. It's so going to be a more... It's kind of an area that's new to everybody and until they have legislation on it. Which there is none. Right, right. So, so, so 
Try it for your convenience, okay? All righty, have a good one. It's always satisfying to see a corrupt rookie officer getting owned by his boss, but the sergeant in this next case absolutely destroyed his junior. And I guess they, they don't like it very much, so. Yeah, I understand. They, I, they need to go back and read the Constitution, I believe. Thank you. <laughs> in June 2015, veteran auditor and civil rights investigator Jeff Gray conducted an audit outside the Moody Air Force Base in Georgia. It didn't take long for police officers to come out and start questioning him about his filming. Hey, buddy. How you doing? All right. You just caught my attention, that's all. Yeah. See, take a picture of the gate, my dad. Take a picture of the railroad. <laughs> See, if you can, I'll say peek on, okay? <laughs> <laughs> that's the gate right there. Mm -hmm. When you stand here doing that, that tells me you take a picture in that direction. You can say gate, I mean, you can say railroad, I can mm -hmm. say gate. Got me out Am I being detained? B Dog, this is the police. I'm getting a phone call to me. Uh, just reaching my back pocket. Right now. Okay, okay. Roger, we're just outside the main gate. Got an individual taking photographs towards the gate. Towards the gate at the north gate from Golf Creek. Jeff decided to walk away from the officers, but to his surprise, he was being detained for suspicious activity. It's hilarious how often cops stop people from filming as if they do not understand the Constitution. Captain County, come on out, please. That's right. He don't seem to be very cooperative. He don't say he's lonesome. He'd rather not have his ID. Uh, have a lot of stuff in my car. All right. See y'all later. Huh? I'll see you later. Am I being detained or anything? Yes, you're being detained. For what reason? You're being detained. For what reason? Take a picture of the gate track. Is that illegal? Can I have your name and badge number, please? And your name and badge number? Surprisingly, the deputy had a change of thought as he soon decided to let the auditor go. However, Jeff soon noticed a couple of cars following him. One of them was Sergeant Guthrie from the Lowndes County Sheriff's Office, who approached him to talk. I'm not going. I'm not going to see you. <laughs> okay, so I'm not being detained. I can't do that. All right, have a nice day. <laughs> have a nice one. Here, Lowndes County Sheriff's Department. There's the other federal cop. And there's Lowndes County. I'm gonna keep on walking. Good, how are you, sir? That's fine. I'm Staff Sergeant Guthrie from the Lance County Sheriff's Office. Nice to meet you, sir. Nice to meet you. Can you tell me what's going on? Uh, I was just taking pictures of F-16, the static display and stuff like that. And I guess they, they don't like it very much. So. Uh, I understand. They, I, they need to go back and read the Constitution, I believe. Thank you. <laughs> Good deal. Not a problem. I'm not angry with you, not upset with you. All right. And you're not doing anything illegal as far as I'm concerned. Um, of course, you know, they... They get a little excited. Like I said, you're on a public access uh, area. Yeah, you can have a telephone lens. You can go anywhere in there. It doesn't matter. Right. You're not violating any law. You're not violating the Constitution. You're not violating anything else. Okay. God bless you, Sergeant. Hey, man, no problem. Thank you. Sergeant Guthrie gave one of the best speeches I have heard from an officer straight away calling his deputy's actions unlawful. He also claimed they needed to learn the law better. As if this wasn't enough, he praised Jeff's work as he himself was a fan. How do you guys stand these bugs out here? <laughs> it's South Georgia, we get used to it. Goodness gracious. 42 years worth and uh, I get used to it. Now, this older fellow coming down here, he ain't, he's not with you, is he? He's my friend, yes. Oh, is he? Okay. Uh -huh. <sighs> Are y'all from around here? 
Uh, see, I'm not going to answer too many questions. I, I appreciate you being nice, but no, that's fine. I'm not going to. You don't have to answer any questions I ask you, no, sir. Thank you. I, remain, I like to remain silent as far as, far as that goes. I'm just out here just taking pictures. Yes, sir. Well, like I said, I don't have a minute of trouble with that. That's okay. Right. But, you know what? I'll go ahead and be honest with you. It, it is. I work for photography. It's not a crime. Yes, sir. Out of Miami. Yes, sir. And um, we do. We conduct um, First Amendment tests. Yes, sir. We'll go to places where typically what happens is I'll get a message about somebody saying, hey, I was out here taking pictures. They they threatened to arrest me. They snatched my camera. They deleted my stuff, stuff That's like that. So, violation of your constitutional rights. Right. So then what, uh, what I'll do is I'll say, okay, well, if I can, I'll go check it out and test it. So that, that's what I'm doing. That's I, I watch, what I'm doing. I watch that stuff all the time on YouTube. So okay. I, I, so you, yes, sir, I'm, <laughs> good well, man, I'm good well man. first. And like you say, you know, there are people out there. They are. They really mm -hmm. are people out there that do that. Yeah. Just know that's they are good. some educated folks out here to carry a passenger. Right. I, oh, yeah. I come across those too. The, as a matter of fact, uh, I think the second or third most viewed video I have is of a, of a good cop. Yes, sir. That, um, that was. I, think, I wish we could all be that way. I really do. We're not out here. We're not out here to do anything other than to, to enforce the laws. If you're not breaking the law. Okay. I've held you up long enough, and like I said, I don't want you to take it right. in any way, shape, form, or fashion. Right. Very nice. Sergeant to meet Guthrie, you. nice to meet you. Good luck with you, and Good. I hope Thank everything you. goes well for you. Okay. Stay safe out there. Sergeant Guthrie even exceeded the auditor's expectations, as he really honored the Constitution and treated him with the utmost respect. However, this isn't the last time a police officer was corrected by his boss. Okay, you don't want to identify yourself. Well, you? I don't need to. He said he doesn't suspect me of a crime or anything and I'm okay, just I'm just asking no but no sir I'm I don't just okay we're good let's go Okay. On May 17, 2020, First Amendment auditor John Mitchell was out filming the St. Louis Park Police Department when Officer Hens approached him and started questioning about the reason for filming. Hello. What's going on? Not much, just walking around. Videotaping the police department's not a good idea. Why? You guys are friendly people. We are, but why are we doing this? Why wouldn't we? Because it's a security issue for us. Is it? It is. I don't think so. It is. It's public property. It is public property, but when you start recording our perimeter and our gates and what our activities are, it's a, it's a concern to us. I've only been here for about 15 minutes. Right. We had officers that drove by and saw you pulling out of here, walking out of here, and said that you were recording them as they left. I did. Yeah, and that's an issue. Why are we doing that? I don't have to have a reason. You don't have a reason? I don't have to have one. Okay. Do you have a driver's license? I can see. I don't. What is your name? I'm not going to give that to you. You're not going to give it to me? No. Why would I give it to you? I haven't done anything wrong. Well, you're recording our property. You're recording okay. our building. Sure. And it's a security issue for us. Am I being detained? You are. Okay. Until I can get you identified. And what's your reasonable, Because I want to make sure that you're not suspicion. doing something that's a problem for our law enforcement community. So in order to detain somebody, you have to have a law that you're investigating, correct? So which I'm, law are you, what, what law do you suspect me of breaking? Are you looking to create a problem here for us? No, not at all. I'm being polite and cordial. I'm, I'm being polite and cordial too. So I'm well, asking being for your a little name and so we can identify you. I don't need to. The officer was certainly wrong as the buildings weren't his, but belonged to the public. Mitchell remained adamant and refused to give in to the officer who wasn't making sense. Why would I need to identify myself? Because I'm asking you to identify yourself. What's your name and badge number? My name is Todd Hines. My badge number is 200. Okay. Your name and badge we're number? We're recording you just like you're recording. Good. Yeah, like okay, good. So. Okay, well, I mean, I'd like to be on my way to go. I mean, you have to have so are reasonable... are you refusing to identify yourself? Well, there's no need to. 3916, can we get... Are you a supervisor? I'm not. Okay. You just called for a supervisor? I did. Very good. Yeah. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah, you bet. Okay. I'm not... I don't have any ill will. I'm not here to hurt anybody. Well, I'm not armed. What's with identifying yourself? I don't need to. You don't need to? No, it's my right to not. So you're looking to create problems, what you're doing. No, you're just accusing me of that. Absolutely, because you're refusing to identify yourself. That's not against the law. It's obstructing legal process if we have a reason to ask you. What's your reason? I've to asked identify you. identify you. I just told no, you. No, 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 but I asked you. You're recording our property. I have you're to identify myself. Doing, Correct, and I have and I to, identify you to identify myself yourself. if you have you're a reasonable, articulable suspicion. And, and what is that? You're looking to create problems is what you're doing. Looking to create problems is not a reasonable, articulable suspicion. I guess Officer Hens needs to undergo law enforcement training again and study the Constitution deeply because he seems to have missed a couple of points. Is that what I'm doing? I, I By have, just filming and opinion. exercising my First Amendment rights? That is my opinion, yes. Okay, well, the good thing is that the law doesn't go off your opinion. But it does when you're obstructing our requests. You can't, you, you can request, right? But it's not a lawful order. 
it is a lawful order at this point. If you're, if and as soon as my sergeant gets up, sure. here, he's going to tell you the same thing. Okay. Okay. But you're not free to leave. You're correct. I'm not going anywhere. No, I'm not going to. I'm not going to. You know, I'm not like that. Right. Well, that's fine. So what's the problem with identifying yourself? I just don't. You don't have to. I just don't need to. You don't need to. Yeah, I haven't broken any laws, and you just said you. Nope, nobody said you broke any laws. I just said that your your activity is suspicious to us. Okay, and is that a misdemeanor our, or a felony? Listen, it's a concern for our safety and our welfare. And I'm not here to do any ill will. I've told you that. We don't know that. I, I've told you that. You could you could be, who knows? Well, I don't sure, know. but. I mean, anyone going by here. Do you but think they, I would be out in the open not all just in the middle activities. of daylight? They're not recording our activities. It's the like middle of daylight. Are. I'm not hiding anything. I've literally hid nothing. Believe me, people commit crimes in the middle of daylight, too. Fair enough. Mitchell was now illegally detained as he awaited the sergeant to arrive. Finally, after minutes of waiting, the sergeant arrived and didn't seem to have any problem with what the auditor was doing, teaching a nice lesson to the untrained officers. Well, like I said, you're so not accusing me of anything, which I get, and I appreciate you saying that. But that even more so just says that I don't have to identify myself. It's my first amendment to film public officials right. doing what they do. Well, we'll, we'll see what the, uh, what the sergeant sure. has to say here when he gets here. <clears throat> yeah, but I won't, I won't video you. No, you're good. How do you get the sweet car? This gentleman's got a First Amendment right, he says, to videotape our activities around the police department and is refusing to identify himself so that we know who we're dealing with. Okay, you don't want to identify yourself? Well, you? I don't need to. He said he doesn't suspect me of a crime or anything. And I'm okay, just, I'm just asking. No, but no, sir, I'm I don't. just asking. Okay, we're good. Let's go. Okay. Right, have a nice My day. name's John, by the way. All right, John. Thanks. Take care, guys. Cooperation America. What's that? Sergeant, what was your uh, name and badge number? Sergeant name and badge number 239. Thank you, sir. You have a good day. Somebody's upset. Do you want me to go? This officer definitely learned his lesson, but you won't believe how these idiot cops got their karma. Trying to educate drivers about violations they may not realize they're committing, but we're seeing a big increase in crashes out here. First, apply you on your driving. You drive great. You're driving really slow. It appears that you're driving, trying to drive safely under the speed limit. I appreciate that. I just want to talk about your following distance, especially around commercial vehicles. You a fighter? I'm a fighter? Yeah, you got a tap out shirt on. <laughs> well, I've got a lot of training. I'm a retired Marine. What do your daughters do, man? Ever been in trouble with law enforcement before? When did you leave? When did you leave? What part of Texas do you think you're buying a house in? What were you doing for work up there? Hey, while I'm working on this, let me ask you something, man. This is going to sound kind of weird. Um, part of my job out here is I do what's called highway interdiction. I look for people that are smuggling contraband through our state, across the country, uh, weapons, humans, drugs, illicit currency, things like that. Anything in the vehicle I should be aware of? Okay. No no firearms? No explosives? Okay. Um, is there any... Yeah, I gotta ask all these silly questions, right? Okay. Um, any large amounts of United States currency in the vehicle? This was the first mistake Stephen made by allowing the officer to search his vehicle. He was carrying over $80,000 in cash as he was going to meet his family after long. However, the poor veteran had no idea what would happen in the next few moments. I think you're a good guy. I'm a good guy. <laughs> how, so how much cash is that? About 100 grand. 100 grand. Okay. So, as you know, right, I, I'm a vet, he's a vet, you're a vet. It's not illegal to carry currency, have currency. Sure it's not. It does, though, make us ask some questions on why someone has 100000 I understand why you don't trust banks, especially in this day and age right now. I have nothing now. to hide from you. I appreciate that. Um, give me a few seconds, can I make a couple phone calls, right? Yeah. Um, okay, I'm, I'm waiting to hear back from Shane to see if he comes out here. This is a, um, it's a strange one, but not a strange one. Um, 
consented to a search, said there was money up there. We located what he says is $100,000. It's in a uh, uh, Ziploc sandwich baggie. Um, there's also, I haven't gone into it a bunch, I'm waiting to get back to the chamber. There's a bunch of bank receipts and stuff in there as well um, to show the, the currency. Yeah, this might be Shane. Hold on a second. This is Shane. Let me tell you about What are your thoughts, Chris? I, I kind of leaning more towards. Um, it, it's odd, but. It's odd, but it's not packed it's like normal. No, and, it, and he's answering the questions. There's there's receipts here, and it. it I would like to put. I would like to put um, the dog on the currency. Now. Okay. The officer ended up calling a DEA agent, who soon called for a dog to check the currency for any. However, it's been proven that is not the authentic way to check whether the currency is clean or not. Nevertheless, the cops ended up doing something horrible. Positive alert. Huh? We'll go forward with it. Okay. What we're gonna do, I believe there's drug dog alerted to it. Drug? Yeah, we, it's very common, sir. We get people that are trafficking marijuana, large quantities of marijuana from Cal Northern California, all states east, even from Reno. Sir, I, I can tell you so, right now, there's... So, so we're, I'm gonna tell you exactly what's gonna happen, okay? We're gonna seize it today, but that doesn't mean we're the final judgment on it. It's going to go through the DEA, okay? So the DEA will contact you, and the DEA will, will uh, provide you with a means to, um, to fight it. You're going to have to provide your, your pay stubs. You're going to have to provide, provide your other receipts and stuff like that. Steven was absolutely gruntled at this moment as he had nothing on him. He had all of his life savings with him, and now the officers had practically stolen his money, leaving him in despair. I just want to let you know, I, are you just doing your job? You're gonna get noticed in the mail as well at that address, okay? The DEA stole money and Stephen had to ask his brother to wire him $1,000 so he could at least get home. A month after the incident, Stephen filed the lawsuit against the DEA and in federal court. Only then did the agency agree to return his money. He is now suing the Nevada Highway Patrol to ensure that incidents like this don't happen in the future. Well, this veteran got his money back, but you'd be shocked to see how this tyrant officer dealt with this vet. You are messing with a Navy veteran that is waiting on an Uber Stand up. What are you doing? On May 1st, 2021, 53 year old war veteran James was sitting on a bench outside his bar after drinking all night. James was calmly waiting for his Uber, but the officers arrived and the situation worsened. How you doing? Yeah. What's going on? Waiting on my Uber. Waiting for your Uber? You have an idea I can take a look at, man? No, you don't. I don't. I'm not doing anything wrong. Well, you're sitting in front of a closed bar and I can I'm see you in I'm waiting on my Uber, my friend. Let me see your ID. No. Okay. We can do this one of two ways, sir. We can okay, do I'm this being, one of I'm being many ways. I'm being respectful to you. I'm sitting here waiting on my Uber. I am doing nothing Show me wrong. on your phone that your Uber's coming. You know what? I want to break out my camera right now. Go ahead, mine's running as well. I want to start well. filming you. Mine's running as well. I am not doing anything wrong. Okay, well. I'm doing everything right. Not drinking and driving. And why are you, why are you messing with me? You're sitting in front of a closed bar. You are messing with a Navy veteran 
that is waiting on an Uber. Sir, I'm going to ask you one more time. That is doing nothing wrong. Can I see your ID? No. It was commendable how James, despite being clearly intoxicated, refused to give up his constitutional right. Give me your ID. I'm giving you a lawful order. You're not getting anything, dude. Okay. Stand I up. I am not doing stand anything up. wrong. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. What are you doing? I'm sitting put there doing nothing. Put your hands behind your back. Put your other hand behind your back. Set your phone down, sir. And put your hand behind your back. I'm sitting here doing nothing. Waiting on an Uber. Too big to sex protective me? custody bird. I'm doing and you nothing. Are arguing and you're intoxicated. I, yeah, I don't think I don't think you're making good choices. Sir. I'm waiting on my Uber, which I, is the sir, best choice. Sir, all I was trying to do was verify. The worst choice uh, would be sir, driving. Sir, all I was trying to do was verify your Uber. Was that right or wrong? Well, if you unlock me, I'll show you the Uber. Well, that's what I. How many times did I ask for that, sir? Huh? <laughs> sir. Yes, sir. If I have I done anything illegal? Well, you're intoxicated in public. I'm sitting okay, on a bench waiting on right, my Uber. at a closed business in a high crime area. Waiting okay? on my Uber. So, sir, sir, I have no idea who you are or what you're doing, and it's my job to find out. So all I did was wanted to have a conversation with you, and you won't give me any information at all, and it's obvious that you're intoxicated. Right? That is why I am waiting on an Uber. Right. This officer certainly needs to be educated on the law, as sitting outside a closed business is not illegal. The officer showed no respect for the veteran, arresting him for doing nothing wrong. You want to do, all you want to do is film me and argue with me. I have done nothing wrong. I'm sitting here minding my own business. Sir, I'm, True just, or false. Doing, I'm just doing my job. You are a Navy veteran. Sir, step over here. Just sitting here, here, minding my Step own over business. Here. Step over here, sir. You can't even walk. I, I was. I'm sitting you here, minding my own you business. You can't even walk, sir. What are you guys doing? You can't even walk. You're what? intoxicated. No, 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 You're no, a no, yourself. no, no. I'm sitting here, minding my own business. Yep. What are you guys doing? I'm waiting on my Uber. Sir, you're nothing. gonna go to detox. You can't even walk. Oh my god, okay. dude. You Uncuff me walk. and let me know if I can walk or not. Well, it's pretty obvious that you can't. You guys, are you serious? I have an Uber coming. Lock those are not locked. Guys, seriously, stop. I'll grab stuff. Let me get in the car. I have an Uber coming. Please stop. Just let me go home. I have an Uber coming. James had made an informed decision to call an Uber. He wasn't drunk driving, and the officers had no reason to arrest him. To make matters worse, they threw him inside their police cruiser. I was sitting in the chair, not Sir? bothering anybody. Sir, I was trying to be reasonable with you. Oh my it's God, obviously you're, dude, you're I am a Navy busted. veteran. Okay, thank you for your service. And I'm just sitting there minding my own business. Right, at a closed business. So and waiting my on my Uber. Sir? And all I asked, all I asked was for you to verify it. All I asked you to do was show me it on your phone, and I'm good with that. Okay, but you refused to do that, so you, you couldn't guys do that. Are, I mean, really, you okay. do this to a Navy veteran, sir? I'm sitting on a have a seat in the car. Oh my God, man! Are you guys serious? I've done nothing. I have no idea who he is. Do you have any weapons on you, sir? No, I don't have any weapons on me. Just hold on for thirty seconds. I have no weapons on me. I mean, I can't believe you guys are doing this. I seriously can't do a Navy veteran. Are you really doing this to a Navy veteran? I'll grab his phone. Having no respect for the Navy veteran, the officers again came towards him and realized that he had been speaking the truth from the beginning. James, listen to me. Didn't drink and drive. Thank you for that. Made the right choice. And you guys come up and just shake me down james navy veteran james combat medic james talk to me i mean i'm just sitting there waiting on my uber my uber is, is there anybody sober that can come get you you're not listening 
You're not, sir. I'm I asking. called an Uber. Well, you can't the call. Uber was two you, minutes away. You can't. You before can't. You shook me down, James. We've been here for ten minutes and they're not here. You can't call Uber. Okay, that's Where's not the way. Phone? That's not, not the way Uber works. He's Where's got your phone. phone. He's got your right phone right there. Look it up. Whether I call them over or not. You can't call them on the phone. Did you do it through an app or did you call them? I did them? through the Uber app. All right, so how do I get into your phone? 6969. If they're coming, man, I'll release you to them. But if six, not. 6969. Six, but if they're not, you're not and leaving us much choice. Look out, Uber. I'm not do, going to lie to you. How do I go? 6969. Six, He's in it. I'm in. Uber. Where do I'm, I search that? I don't have this. Go to the now. Uber app. Just scroll through till you find the Uber app. Listen, fellas, you should not be doing this to a combat medic veteran. I was sitting there minding my own business. Is he coming? Five hours. Okay. Suddenly, the officer realized the massive blunder they had made. Within a second, their confrontational demeanor changed as they tried to pose as if they cared for James. You guys, James, I respect James, your job. James, listen to me for a minute. I appreciate that. It says it's five minutes away. If he's here in five minutes, we will release you to that Uber. Okay. Okay. Please let me out of here and tell me I didn't. When that. when the Uber gets here, we'll do that. Okay. This is all, James. James. Fellas, listen, James, many, James, uh, James, no James, listen to me. All you had to do was show me this in the first place. But, but I'm a former kind of combat medic. Yep. That's right. Thanks for your service. And I got a little, I felt a little intimidated, man. Like, I wasn't respected. Sorry you felt that way, James. Yeah, James, that so wasn't my intention. We're, we're, we were I would know with you, you guys. We were concerned for your welfare. That's why we contacted you. Right. We didn't want you walking well, off you. into the street. Thank you, fellas. Thank you. And now that we know that there's a sober driver, we're okay with releasing you. All right. You understand that I'm a former combat Navy medic. Yeah, I understand that. I thank you for your service. And you just... Okay. And made the right choice. We appreciate that, sir. Right. And I appreciate that, really. The same officer who had criticized James for his inability to walk earlier suddenly claimed that he appreciated him for waiting for an Uber. It was clear that the arrest was made in retaliation for not receiving the ID he demanded. Yeah, now, I said I have no problem releasing you to Uber, man, uh, at all. Uh, but here's the thing. Are you guys badgering? But here's the thing. Is, 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 is a lot of people lie to the cops? And as far as I know, I, I'm contacting you drunk, which is, it's fine, you're drunk, that's not a big deal. But if you wander out in this street and get hit, I then it's on me, man. I understand. Okay? It's on me. And I don't, I don't want you to get hit by a car. I understand. I so, appreciate it. I understand. So I hang tight. As soon as Uber gets here, dude, I have no problem. I have no problem releasing you to the Uber. Well, Give me a favor and cap me before because this shit's uncomfortable, brother. I break the no laws. I get you. You gonna be cooperative? Uh, absolutely. I'm good with it if you are. Yeah. I'm good with that, man. Okay, just hey, as long as you and I agree that, you, that you're gonna be cool, hey. right? I want to have one more thing to say, brother. <laughs> no, you can talk all you want. Talk about you what? Five years. Yeah. Seriously. I haven't been handcuffed in about 35 years. Suddenly, the officer realized there was no point in keeping him in handcuffs, so they proceeded to release him from confinement. That's easier. <laughs> That's pretty funny, is your eye? Fellas, I understand you have a job to do. Oh, Terry? Yes, sir. Are you No, yes, not sir. me. Like I said. Army for me. Oh, family's army. You what? Oh, family's army. Oh, okay. I was the only, I'm the only Navy. Alright, I got one more. 
I get you, man. I was doing the right thing. I was sitting. And I and I commend you for that. I, I really yeah. do. I commend you for that. You're good. Yeah. And so, hey, Let me give, tell you something. Give us, let, pull up that Uber app. Iraq okay. veteran. Okay. Thanks for your service, man. Pull up that app on your phone again so we can see how far that Uber driver is. Where is my it's, phone? it's up here. It said five minutes when we looked at it, so let's see where they're at. Let me have it. Did you have a good time tonight? Just mind my own business. No, I just asked if you had a good time. I didn't ask what you were doing. Do you have many minutes? Cool. Minutes I'm good awesome. with that, man. I just wanted to, I just, because it said five minutes and yes, they must be. I didn't mean to be offensive, man. No, just, you weren't I offensive, man. I'm minding my own business. You're not offensive. You. But you have to understand, man. The wrong thing to do is drive, right? Agreed. So no. let me let me tell Worst you. Worst thing to do, let me tell which you, I won't do. Let me tell you a quick story. Um, a few years back, I had somebody over here that was stabbed just like that. So I wouldn't be doing my job, man, if I didn't check to make sure you're okay. All like right. I said, if you didn't have Uber coming and you walk out into 44th and get hit by a drunk driver or somebody's not paying attention, right. then that's on me, man. And I'm not. And you're a veteran, dude. I'm not gonna. I don't I want that on my. I don't want here. I don't want that on my conscience. Maybe your thing got a little out of hand. Yeah, no, I no been more there was of... nothing out of hand. James seemed to forget everything that had happened earlier, casually joking with the cops and apologizing for his actions. It was obvious that he was too intoxicated even to realize the gravity of the situation that just unfolded. I understand. What yeah. I thought was I'm sitting on a, chair, on a bench, not driving. As a veteran, because you know what, when I was in the military, I was a crazy, you know, drinking all the time. <laughs> but I thought, you know, I'm sitting here minding my own business and, you know, waiting on my Uber. And I'm sorry, dude, if I offended you. No, you, dude, you didn't offend me. See, the thing is, you're like an hour past last call, so. Well, like <laughs> once again. Choices. Life is about choices. I agree, man. And the choice is don't drink and drive. I agree. And, I and that's a smart choice. Had a few drinks smart tonight. choice. Smart choice. And I that's the choice I make all the time. Good. That's a good choice to make, man. When I was in the military in my twenties, I didn't make those didn't good make choices. Those choices. You know, I didn't care. As the officers made small talk with him, James's Uber finally arrived, and he went home after having his rights violated. Necessary, man. Seriously, no apology necessary. But I didn't lie to you. You did not lie to me, and I appreciate I that. I told you the Uber was coming. But you don't have to apologize to me either. There's nothing to be sorry for, man. Uh, that's the first time I've been in handcuffs in about 26 years. Yeah. Hey, that's good. <laughs> so, hey, mind me. I don't want to be in them anymore. <laughs> Are you Uber? Yeah. I got you. your guys over here. Is he okay? Yeah. Okay. No, he's just he's sitting in front of a closed bar. Uh-huh. Hunched over a little bit. He's had a little bit to drink, so. Okay. He's good. Okay. okay. He's good. He just had a good time. He's not he's not creating <laughs> any problems, but as a police officer, I drive by and see somebody hunched over on a bench outside of a closed bar, and yeah. that's a clue. Right. Yeah. All right, man. All right. Here you go, dude. Hey. They're going to get you home, brother. Never lied to you. Nope, you didn't. I appreciate that. James? They're going to get you. Yeah. Yep, that's James. Right. Soon after this incident went viral, the Wheat Ridge Police Department responded that the officer's actions were justified. However, James later claimed that his rights were violated and aimed to file a lawsuit against the cops and the city. These cops were disrespectful, but this next officer took things up a notch with this veteran. You have to leave the property. He can't stand in front of my seat. He holds him on the foot. I'm not going to say it. I'm going to say it. Turn around. I'm the On August 19th, 2021, Army veteran and senior auditor Jeff Gray exercised his constitutional rights by holding a cardboard sign that read, God bless the homeless vets outside the city hall. However, a public official contacted the cops asking them to remove Jeff from public property. Yeah. She told him, yeah, you could go upstairs, but he didn't go. Okay. He just went on out the door and now he's kind of hanging outside. All right, I'll ask him to. So just... Sweetly ask him to just 
Yeah. Float along. Yes, ma'am. I'll take care of that for you. I love serving multi-purpose rolls. Just to let you know, we also reset the uh, AC to 72 upstairs, so it'll be cool good. for you guys for the... Good. What's going on, brother? Hey, How you doing, man? All right. Doing okay? Yes. All right. Um, what's your first name? Sergeant Hemington? Yeah. Uh, my name first name's Jeff. Jeff? Jeff? Yes, sir. All right, Jeff. Hey, man. Um, first, I appreciate I appreciate the sign. That's awesome. hard hearing, so can you speak up? Yes, sir. So I appreciate the sign. That's pretty awesome. Um... The, uh, the ladies in front have asked me if you could go find another location to hang out. Uh, I mean, you're not doing anything wrong. You're not breaking any laws by any means. Okay. They just, right here in front of City Hall is a little bit different area. You know what I'm saying? Go anywhere alongside the road. Yes. Just, this is city property, so they were asking if you don't mind just find another location. Uh, you're I'd not breaking not. any laws. You're not in trouble. Yeah, I'd rather not. I'd well, rather just hang out here. Well, that's kind of the issue. They don't, they don't want you sitting out here. Uh, okay. So, because it's city property, so they can ask you to leave if they want you to. But you said I'm not breaking any laws or anything. Well, no, it's, but they're also the, the, own, the city owns the property, so they can ask you just to hang out somewhere else. I'd rather not. Okay. All right. Jeff wasn't doing anything illegal, and the employees had no right to make him move. As the officer headed back inside, the employees' entitlement and ignorance were shocking to see. Technically, he's not breaking any laws, but he's on city property, so yes. we can ask him to leave. Yes. Um, and that's why I told him. I said, you're not breaking any laws, the ladies... Don't feel comfortable with you standing out here. Got it. I said, you're welcome to go stand over in the corner, down there, down there, down there. So now if he doesn't leave, it's trespassing. Okay. Well, hopefully he was just going. He's already, right well, he's like, I don't, I don't feel like leaving. I was like, well, I get that, but <laughs> he's, he's like, I'd rather not. Feel like, like it? Is that what he's, he's saying? He doesn't oh, really, he does, he'd rather not. He was polite about it. And I said, well, you're not breaking laws, but you're all on city property. I said, it's owned by the city. Oh. If they want, they don't feel comfortable with you standing out here, even though you're spreading a good message. You have to leave the property. Yeah, he can't stand in front of my seat. All the most sports on the bed. Like, well, I mean, we can't have if it wasn't city property, know, but, it, but considering it's city property, it's considered private property. Yeah. So he can go stand on the roadside anywhere else. So I got a patrol unit coming that way. I can talk to him some more and see what's going on. So I'm not trying to give you a hard time, dude. So is there a reason why you want to stand here? Not putting my heart to stand right here and spread the message. God bless the homeless people. I'm all, I'm all for that. I'm all okay. for you recording. I got no issue with that, okay? All right. I got my body cam on. So okay. Uh, I don't even know what that's for. Probably so you get across the intersection. Anyways, so what I did was I called for a patrol unit because I'm actually working for the code enforcement section, okay? I'm still a police officer. This is city property, okay? okay. And you do have the right to spread your message anywhere you want unless it's private property. Okay. Then they have the right to ask you to leave. They can't tell you to tear your sign up or anything like that, right. but... That's the whole point of why I was out here talking to you. The ladies didn't feel comfortable with somebody just hanging out in front of the city hall. Okay. Um, and being that it's on city property. Once again, the officer is in the wrong. City hall is public property, and Jeff has as much right as anyone to stand around it. However, suddenly, the officer started to change his demeanor. Okay. Now, if you refuse to leave, then it would be trespassing, and then you'd be in trouble. So I'm asking you nicely if just to relocate. That's all I'm asking you to do. Uh, you can go spread that message with love any way you want. Other than city property right here. Is that, you understand what I'm saying? This is city property? This, this, all this is city hall. It's just city property. All right. Am I being trespassed? As of now, you are. Give me your ID. Uh, now, I'm now, now, now it's an investigation. I'm I want your ID. Leave, though. No, give me your ID. You're not free to go now. Because now you want to play the game. Go ahead and give me your identification. If you're trespassing me, I'll leave. Give me that identification or you're going to jail. Give me my... Give me your identification so I can identify you and I can trespass you. Then you can leave. If, if I'm not going to ask you a third time. If I get arrested, I'll, go to, I'll lose my job. I'm not trying to arrest you. I'm trying to get you to comply with me, and you're trying to refuse to do that. So listen to me carefully. I want your identification so I can identify what you and trespass you. What crime do you suspect me of? Sir? What crime do you suspect me of? You're, you're failing to, to follow a lawful order, which is they've asked you to leave city property or asked me to ask you to leave. You're refusing to do so. Now I'm going to trespass you from the property. Sergeant Hemminger escalated the issue and unlawfully demanded his ID. Being a veteran auditor, Jeff stood firm to his belief and never showed his credentials to the cop. Can Step off somewhere else. No, now you wanted to refuse, so now I'm going to identify you and I can trespass you. If I don't give you my ID, I'll go to jail. That's exactly correct. You'll cool. be arrested. You'll be fingerprinted and released. Cool. So all cool. I want is your identification. Cool. No, because you, not because of the sign, but because you failed to comply with my investigation, which was I asked you to leave nicely initially. You wanted to play the game with me. Now I'm playing the game with you. Well, I said Let me have your identification. Stop. I Let me have your identification. I said I would Identification. I'm not going to say it. I'm engaged in constitutional protection. Turn around. I'm engaged in constitutional protection. Turn around. Let me see your sign. 
Put right. your phone in your pocket. All you have to do is come, give me your ID, bud. Why, why so hard with that? You, you know the game because you want to say, am I being trespassed? You could have gave me your ID. I would have trespassed you and let you walk off, brother. Yeah, you were, you were telling me to leave. I would rather not leave. No, you were playing the game with me is what you're doing. If you're trespassing me, I'll leave. I asked you to leave before that. You wanted to play the game and make me trespass you. Don't play dumb games, man. It's going to get you in trouble. Right. Don't turn it. Why are you stopping I'm putting the it in your phone. I'm putting it in your You hand. just stopped the recording. And that's it's all recorded right here. And it's all recorded right here. I'm saving you your battery. Take my phone and start recording again. Sure. Gladly. If that's what you want me to do, brother, I would yes. do that for you. It's shocking how a sergeant had no clue about the law as he went on to arrest an innocent man just exercising his rights. I probably would have trespassed you because I asked you at least five to six times to step off the property. You said politely that you didn't want to do that. I didn't have a problem with that. I went back and asked the ladies, I said, what do you feel comfortable with? They said, no, I don't feel comfortable with them standing out here because there's a bunch of ladies that work in here. Even though you're not being violent, they have the right to ask you to leave, partner. All you had to do is go step off to the next land property over there and you could spread the message of love all day. You understand what I'm saying? I wasn't trying to bust your chops, man. I'm just doing my job. I'm going to remain silent at this point. Okay, you have that right. You have that right. The only thing you have to answer is name, date of birth, and about your current address. Is all that current on your license? Yes, it is. Okay. All right. All right, hang tight for a second. I'm going to grab your sign so we can take that with you, okay? And take them on in, huh? Yeah, he's under arrest. Um, okay. I asked him four more times. I said, listen, you're not breaking the law essentially by standing out with a sign. I said, but ladies don't feel comfortable with you being on, on the property because it's just a bunch of ladies, even though you're not being disorderly. I said, they have the right to ask you to leave. It is city hall property. All you have to do is go to the next corner over here, out on towards the road. As long as you're not on the roadway, you can go anywhere else, and I'll let you walk off. So he wanted, he's like, he started playing the game. Well, am I being trespassed? I was like, you know what, let me have your ID. And they refused to give it to me, so now it was oh, being charged okay. with uh, obstruction. So, And then he tried to play the game with me, right? Oh, but you, you don't understand. I have to keep you talking to her at events. I mean, we care about it, but, but we also have rules. I mean, you can't just do what you want. And then when I asked you to leave, and you said, well, I'm being trespassed, I said, well, not yet, but I'm trying to help you just walk off. And he said, well, I'm being trespassed. I said, okay, now we're going to play the game. And then you refused to give me your ID. That was a big problem. Now you're under arrest for obstruction. Can one of y'all put him in the car? Follow this officer over here. Jeff was put in the back of the police car as the officers discussed among themselves what had happened. It's bizarre how none of the cops found anything questionable about the situation. All right. Leave his, he wanted his phone to stay recording, but now he's under arrest, so we can I mean, all of our shit's going, so he can yeah. he can do a... He can do open records request. I left it while the employee was under arrest. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. So. Yeah. All right. Oh. It's his sign or whatever else he's got. All and right. if I first started talking to him, he's being cool, man. I was like, yeah, I appreciate the message. It's all good. I said, listen to me, though. I said, the ladies in the office just don't feel comfortable with somebody just standing out here. I said, they just want you to go stand, you know, on the other piece of property. Where was he at? Uh, right like, in the literally doorway. in the doorway. Well, it's away from it, but like by the pillars. Uh, I said, well, I mean, that's in the doorway. Well, yeah. He didn't want to do that, and he kept saying, oh, my, you know, basically. Oh, I'm good, brother. I got a pair, but well, thank you. You want to cry about it? I'll give you a second. No, home. I want to cry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Help him out. Please. If you don't mind, sir. No problem. That's what I get paid to do, right? I was, try, I was trying to not go this route, and I was trying really hard to be nice. I'm like, look, just, you can go stand across the corner, brother, and do what you want. I do my best to give yeah. all, I, 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 I try my best to give all veterans as much room as I can possibly but give. But even if he wasn't, he wasn't being rude at first. And I said, look, dude, I said, the reason they're asking you to leave is because you're standing out here at the front city hall, even with a great message. There's a bunch of ladies up here. Cool. Thanks, man. Thank y'all. Appreciate it. Ten nine five is going to turn over to four forty for transport, and he'll advise my island in just a minute. And I'll be clear. Status three. Can I have a case number? Forty five zero four five. 
Well, that brings us to the end of this video. These officers learn the hard way that no one is above the law, not even those who are supposed to enforce it. And if you agree with me, please consider showing your support by liking this video. And also make sure to subscribe to stay informed about future cases like these. Also, if you enjoyed this video, then check out the next video right here.